Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane, Master of Propaganda here of Zreich, Defender of the Fatherland. We're off here to exciting 2 versus 2 on the newly added map, Hamlet. No, not that Hamlet, not the play by Shakespeare, for heaven's sake, people. No, just a 2 versus 2 map called Hamlet, right here. Today, we've got in the north. The British Army, under the command of SWAT and UK, fighting here for the 11th Armoured Division, rolling out for King and Country in the south. The Germans are holding the line for now, under the command of Guru Skippy and Fannan, fighting for Deutschland, Reich, for the 15th Panzer Grenadier Division. And we have got here mobile assault, special weapons, advanced emplacement, and tactical support versus Jaeger Armour. Spearhead, Storm, and Mechanized. Bulletins, Last Infantry, and Mortar, oh, and a lot of Stug. So, what kind of ordnance do we have here? We've got MGs and Vickers, sort of infantry there. We've got snipers and MGs for the Germans. Not a lot of infantry so far, except I think from the UK. A bit there also swap, but the Germans on the other hand just relying so far on anything but infantry to a certain extent. Pushing east and west here. So far, no surprises there. The Germans obviously with a double sort of sniper when he's trying to just bleed out the Brits initially. Also perhaps trying to offset any sort of early Vickers machine guns. Design wise the map is certainly interesting. It sort of has a river sort of going through it but at the same time it's not exactly a huge barrier. There's plenty of crossing points. So it's sort of, it's, it's, it's an obstacle of sorts but not that huge one. It could actually end up being more of a mental obstacle which sort of, you know, Gives you an idea of who the players are more than anything. Otherwise, it's, it's, it's also very nice open map in some spots. There's a, it's a, it has some interesting design there. I'll give it the design of that. I think is the ever charmingly named Pig Soup. Vickers MG4 terminal up in the section. I've got to call it Vickers. That's awkward. There go shots fired. Sections and running. Nice. The British are making progress there. Grand victory points overall here and there. We got snipers converging in the center alongside and another MG42. We got gunners still running for the Germans. In fact, the German players are going for an extremely similar build order compared with the British, and I don't think they're quite going for the same. In fact, they're sort of more diverse. Some with a quick tech up, others for universal chaos. Of course, now cost no fuel. We got a section where we have versus the pioneers. Bit of shooting there. Quick engagement here, the Germans are pushing forward just wherever they can. I think so, just trying to breach the British uh, lines at the same time. The British are pushing inside to the east, so some aggressive play there from both sides so far. Universal coming up with a section support. Universal cares are used for many things, telling about weapons, transport, reconnaissance as well. Fun facts there. In fact, the U Soviet Union actually received numerous universal carriers, which they used for transportation, but I think also a bit for reconnaissance. So some fun facts there. Some fun facts there you don't hear so much about. The German team managed to capture a bunch and actually converted some of those into being tank hunters. Equipped with a bunch of puncher shrecks. They give the castle from back there, you get section take up position in the small sniper's nest, getting sniped. Oh the irony. Finding out the guns but overall that's not a position that's gonna be lasting very long. At the same time the Germans are digging in the west with an MV42 watching the river, got a Vickers watching as well. Bit of pressure here in the centre. The Brits are forced to fall back there in the face of Guru Skippy and Thunderhunt's attack. Well, from around it seems like Thunderhunt here is the one operating there. Eastern side is collapsing due to SWAT's continued poking about. We've got a flamethrower there for the US Kennedy Wasp, as it was known as. G42. Saw a nice image actually recently on the Wasp crew. Nice and all woolied up, or geared up actually to help protect them versus the flames. Generally they would not be looking like that when they're operating a flamethrower. They're usually a lot more protective gear involved. You can see the same for example on 251 flamethrower crews. A lot more geared up for it. We've got a mortar emplacement up here. Thunderhand is the first one choosing the doctrine. He's gone for spearhead, probably going for a mortar emplacement. Coping to, of course, counter any sort of emplacement play there from the bridge, in particular if advanced emplacement regiment comes into play. He hopes to utilize the incendio barrage to sort of that way counter it. Not a bad idea at all. 
I'd like to make a nice company going up for Thunderhand at the same time. Good as Skippy seems to hang about there in tier 1 for a bit longer. He's got a Moltrin as well there. Ganard in there. So we also got there basically a bit of a diversion from their builds. So they're going to be less like you know, a pair of twins. They do everything and say everything in the same way. Very creepy to twins too. And before you to maintain a position here overall, the British are struggling a bit here. They've sort of lost control of most of the map there. Germans are definitely pushing in aggressively, but there we go. We got the wasp moving up there to light some Huns on fire. Enemy causing trouble, trying to take one of our points. At the same time, we got a small move up here, but without so much support here, I don't think Yukai will succeed. He's going to need a lot more troops to pull through there. We and the Mortal Plague don't think can support either, right but there you go. Sneak up here going for the fuel point instead, take advantage of all the action here. Good reaction there though by Yukai, good reaction. No <laughs> rule, not too much, they're just bashing their heads into the wall, looking for weak spots, and then exploiting them. Good play there, good play there. At the same time, Bakers here being flanked, a bit relying there just sort of doing nothing, perhaps getting back the fuel point there. Well, loose grabbing the one here as well, getting more to it though, and we got kind of decent stars moving up, there we go. Sap has wiped out, not enough support there sadly, but it was a bold idea. We got a 2-2 out here for Thunderhun, Guru Skippy is uh, tagging up, is he going to go for the light to make a nice company? Oh, oh. Straight for tier 3, can work, can work, you know, 2 versus 2 if you got a teammate going for tier 2 as at least. And seeing as he's planning on the one being the Stooks, it can definitely work out. Since if you do skip for tier 3, I mean, you're, you're definitely going to need the Stug out first, usually in most cases, just to prepare yourself as likely of an armor since you've been lacking in packs and pantry tracks and what else there. The entire area here being lit on fire by the wasp. Good lord! Are you trying to let it light everything on fire? Yes, I am actually. Thanks for noticing. 2 2 setting out the Universal Code trying to escape. We've got the 2 2 going in there, going for the target, which is very easily. Dealt with here. Now enough support there for SWATs, Universal Carrier. And sadly, neither side seems to be getting any armored cars to help them. We got here for you, Cat SWAT, Bofos, Chosen. And you guys yet to make any sort of uh, indication towards any sort of play there. But an armored car, for I'm rushing down there, could have helped the Universal Carrier. Now it's just another flame here in the woods. Maintaining control of the cemetery there in the center, but that's about it really. We got here we go. It's in a round being launched by the Coldian half track there for Thunderhunt. Not quite the best hit, but still should do some damage alongside the two to engaging. Raising up the structure. Fuel cache is going down here to help them provide more fuel. Good work. It's a good idea for Skippy again, who's intending to skip and sort of get rush for armor that way. Works now we're on the two 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 doing some damage over this boys and a tank rifle but at the same time not enough not enough to stop the 222 two, two. like to punch a spear bargain big here preventing the jumps from moving through it's now doing that we've also got a multi nearby to fire in Molten placement is get hammered here with the 222 two, gaining veteran two in the process but might not last for that much longer there we go almost got the Molten place but not the best supported position overall there for Yukai and uh, Quickly shows, he's now short of any more support there. But at the same time, you now can see SWAT is also setting up a buff force here. 40 millimeters, quick fire. Grenadier sent running, most of them now sent to hell or heaven or purgatory or Valhalla or whatever. So right here, he's only got some control of the air, and also knows he's got some saps inside to get off some. Uh, Suppressive barrages, and he's also gone for both sections, so he's definitely doing more for his infantry there. Yukai hasn't quite gone there yet. Yet you getting a decision either. It's rather getting the impression so bad it's what that's rather so no leading the fight. And doing most of the sort of carrying. Massive assault here for the central strength of the infantry with the mortar after supporting. It's around here by a good choice of thunder, how would increase the damage. Section man's a bypass. Half to taking hits there. It's another nearby trying to provide support there. Need more support. Infantry is nowhere to be seen. No Panzer Grenadier, no Grenadier, no nothing. Rushing up to support. Support McCall though is up here for Guru Skip. It's going to be some time to get some armor out. Up north, all quiet. And we got the first oh, doctrine for the Allies chosen. It is 
Mobile Assault opening up here for advanced cover combat. Infiltration tactics and flamethrowers already. Section moving up there and sniper slowly pulling back there. Could have got some hits there on the section. Bleed it out. So far, oh, second sniper moves up. Gets a kill. Wunderbar. German losing a bit of ground there and we've got another emplacement up here. Another mortar for UK. This time a bit more within distance of other elements, including the Bofors, making it a bit harder to just isolate and deal with as the first one was here. Always good. Our capture point. They're trying to take it. But now striking at the more isolated eastern part of the map with the Brits seemingly forgotten. And we got another mortar emplacement down here. The Brits are really the digging in here. Ready. And we got a commando infiltration team here going after the sniper. I always say nice thing you can do. What I like to do when I'm playing service and have partisans, if I see any snipers like that, I'll hit them with a partisan team. Obviously the commander's gonna do a better job at it, but you know. Always a good reason to be careful with your snipers like that when you're near your opponent has infiltration units. There you go, sent running. Two to two setting out. Six pounder gun setting up. Just really unleashing everything they got against the Huns here. With the Bofors joining in as well, bombarding. Further fun here, Gunner is a bit of trouble at the same time. We got a German assault party moving up in the west. Gunner and pioneers, but straight into a mine. Good lord, should have spread out a bit there. Perhaps hug the fence a bit there, moved up for him. The field's a bit more spread out. It, they're really going for it though. Bickers not going to have time to set up now as well here and repulse the German assault overall. Again, two bunched up. Should spread out a bit more as soon as he got close to hostile territory. A lack of support weapons only going to make this harder as well. And there we go. The Vickers set up. You got the sniper. And soon the Molten players will be able to join in, basically wiping out good escapers attack there. It's also floating quite a bit of manpower. You should definitely either consider some more caches or something. Here. Got the Vickers, but ultimately did not get the Malta. Further finding here, 2-2 two two now joining in after the Gunners were pushed away, MG42 million support. Back at base here for the Allies, no further tech up. Gunners keep getting a close to the Stug, but still he's flooding a lot of manpower. He should definitely be doing something against fuel caches, munitions caches, bunkers to hold territory, something. Or command bunkers to allow his troops and his teammates to reinforce the front line, I mean really. A lot of options, they just, you know, don't float that much manpower. He's getting more gun ideas that also works, but he's getting the first Sturmgeschutz there. <laughs> Sniper keeping watch over the center. Pretty risky to do so under the aegis of the mortar emplacement. Got a British assault parking towards the west there. Going against the MD42. No grenades, so that's a bit more risky. Though, of course, he does have access to advanced cover combat. And they're going to actually push back the info too. Perhaps a bit hasty there actually by Guru Skippy. Stug almost done. There we go. Stug arrives. Further finding here. Pulls the mortar after back. Mines down the road. And there we go. The Sturm Geschütz rolls up. We got a full assault in here. Grenadiers from both players. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. And the Sturm Geschütz with the machine gun on the way. Good tip. Starbite. Striking in against the section as they try to regain the western victory point and the strategic point contained within it. Section they're getting absolutely pummeled into the ground, setting up others to sort of hold and defend, but without any anti tank report, they will only be able to hold for a matter of moments. And ultimately, SWAT will be forced to evacuate the position there. It could have perhaps. Oh, there you go. go. Pulled out a land mattress, some SWAT soon, and have that raid to support. In fact, it looks like ready to support the eastern side of the map is dead, so in fact this could have been all a diversion to drag as much German attention and focus towards the west, leaving the east, you know, British for the time being. Meanwhile, further pressure for the south. He's gone straight for armor, Mr. UK. Might get a Cromwell anytime soon, or perhaps go for Churchill's or Comets. Could of course also consider a doctrine. Pioneers attacking through here. But again, without sufficient support, it's a bit of a wasted endeavor. I can't help but feel a bit. And of course, we still got bombardments here from the buff force. I'm surprised he hasn't tried to just a forward assembly. I mean, that way, you know, the mortar fire faster. This could suppress a barrage. You know, it could be enforced. 
And even here, yeah, you have to keep popping back in, and you know, the sappers. Panzer gonna be out there for Thunder Hun. Lovely, and we got a 2 2 strong bit in the west. In fact, the old note here, they actually have a straight path for the British base. A couple of Stooks, if some could drive up right now, hammer away here at the base. Actually, do some damage, force them to have to repair some of the base element, but also at the same time, town now have to concentrate and actually take a defensive line across here. And that would actually force them to have to scatter out the forces. There you go, land matches unleashing hell. Wiping the mortar, that's about it. So many mortar rounds going all across all the place. We got double mortar half tracks out now. Four thunder on a mobile battery. Capable of a lot of nastiness, and there you go. Send air rounds hit the mattress. And not the mortar emplacement. The enemy are attacking an emplacement. So much light artillery. And a bit of rock, but there you go. In fact, they're gaining a good chunk of the western map here. Good, good. Still, Gurus gives you a manpower, so is Thunder, and so is Yukai. Come on. Spend a bit of that manpower, get some caches out or something. And I do also think that right now the German ship have to again just making the assault straight for the well, Allied space. I mean, all the resources are really sort of plonked around here. And again, this is this huge open route to the base. Good assault there, could do a lot of damage. House collapses as. Gammon bombs have thrown in their general direction. Got the decent running. Quite lost there. We got Eric Conch and Thunderhand as well, but there we go, we got the Bofors immediately opening up on the offending Luftwaffe aircraft. Same time Stuka moving over here. Little support though, we got another cash up here for Skuru Skippy. Good, good, he's got a mechanized by the way, now it's just Yukai by the way, who lacks a doctrine. Spawning to go for the Stuka, increasing its uh, line of sight when it's not moving. Good there, good there. A lot of fire. Not a lot of incendiary rounds here so far. And there you go, another land mattress barrage. I think in this case trying to silence the uh, mortar half track. Is being Not quite successful. Further sort towards the east. Getting rather stalled out there by suppressive barrages from the Bullforce. Good work, good work there by SWAT. Yukai though is yet to choose a doctor. Nimbus coming up, he's still governing up. Osmo and Leif are to help deal with the infantry. He could also consider another MG42. Really, he's building so much manpower. But all sides are now. It's not getting quite ridiculous, but you know, it's a bit. Uh, three sections against the 2 2 at close range. Just need to pull back, need to pull back. More time to continue just far away, madly. Center giving a bit way there to the British relentless assaults as they're sort of focusing up there. Got a man engagement here. Commander's trying to deal with the fuel cash. We've got pioneers engaging as well here, making good use of the flamming effort. And the assault continues through here. Could continue mixing up with advanced cover combat for a bit of a bonus there, but no halt and retreats. No further shall the British be allowed to advance into German territory. For now, any base. Perhaps. And we got Austin Flak Panzer Vibes here for Guru Skippy. Thunderhun. Is he planning for tier 4, perhaps? More commanders out here for SWAT. Going for the victory point there. Infiltrating, harassing, striking. For King and Country. Stuke moving in. Commandos sent running. Veterans is free there, gained. Nothing send the barrage in. Your forces have constructed a company commander. Let you choose it for that mortar after Other one being repaired back at base. Ready. 
Grab the victory point there. Lighting the house on fire, basically trying to wreck them. Not a bad either, of course, Gruduski. He could also just consider, you know, some S mines. I mean, that would pretty much just also kill the commanders on the spot if they tried to infiltrate. But, you know, burning down the house also works. Certainly. And we got heavy engineers out there for you, Kai, which of course means he's got Randall tactics. We got the land mattress fire, shattering the sniper's nest in front of it for a bit as well. Doing some damage, almost wiping a sniper. MD crew almost being annihilated as well. And the tank and crew, they're caught by some gunners and like machine and pushing forward to get the salt up here as well. Holding victory point there, victory points wise. It's actually quite equal between the two sides. What equal at least for the time being. Another Bofos, this time for you guys. It's also going for it. No armored cars here. More incendiary barrages. Not quite, you know, pushing through there. Soon get it. And still, you know, there's a large open pass right at the enemy base. We've got a church here by the looks of it on the way for you guys. Guru Skippy, Thunderhand really floating manpower now. Come on, Guru Skippy, don't float, don't float. There's still points here and here that could be cashed up. Or bunkers we could use to help Can contain the points. Tight. Hold them. Commander assault moving up the western side of the map, trying to creep up there. Not bad, not bad at all there by SWAT. More incendiary bears going down. Almost got the mortar. There we go. Wipe, kaput. An emplacement has been destroyed. And we got another British assault here. So overall, SWAT team doing most of the attacking. New Kai just seems to be holding ground there. Not necessarily the best work. Uh, well, it can work, but you know, still even that. Someone needs to attack a bit there as well. There you go. Commander spotted by the 222. Taking heavy fire there through it. And some grenadiers working with it. That could see commander squad the white if SWAT is not careful. If he's not very careful indeed. Email up here, halted by an MD42, incendiary rounds being added there for increased damage. Good work, good work. And we got here Cromwell out for SWAT plus the church here from Yukai. So now the bitch is really adding in some armor. Thunderhunt has yet to go for anything really. Is he playing for a tiger? Or is he playing for the heavy panzer? I mean, he really should go for something because at this rate, you know, they're gonna give the British an armor advantage. That's quite big. And good as keepers still feel actually you know, Try something besides just you know, floating that much manpower. But there we go, we actually got a Howard's up, some artillery. That'll definitely also do the trick then, particularly there's some all those emplacements. So Lightus felt how bits up there for Guru Skippy and the 15th Panzer gonna DD be shorten. The enemy are attacking an emplacement. Mount Cindia Barrages. Trying not to deal with that. And he neatly firing away there. Wiping the sappers. Trying to repair the ball force. Cromwell striking towards these stairs. Stoop nowhere to be seen. He should have more stoops out by now, to be honest. There he goes, getting another one. But it might not be in time. Mort half in trouble as the Cromwell sets in for king and country. Then Varmint charges forward. Churchill moving up slowly as well. Popping smoke there. Mortar after trying to go with Stuke moving up, Stuke moving up, pack 40 turning back as well, double packs. Thunder and floating long manpower there. Don't do that. Maybe you're playing for a tiger, get some more panzer gonna be or something. Get some bunkers out, just you know, don't float 1500 manpower. Almost got the crumble there though, almost, almost. Church moving up. Almost had to run in the stook. Churchill and Cromwell escape, centre of the map looking a bit more hazardous. Not taking quite more of a beating. Stuke number two arrives, getting that one a set of spotting scopes as well. Further attacks in the west. Saxon caught out in the middle of the river there as it rains and getting absolutely cut down. The assault there brutally stopped. And over here in the east, another assault there by SWAT is also put to a firm halt here by an Austin flak panzer. Probably wishing they had some kind of top or something could put over there. Gotta be pretty wet inside. There we go, heavy panzer corps going up for Thunder Hunt. Could go for a panther right now. Panzer Werfers. 
probably not a strong punch though. Also noting this is a longer match, so no more giving out. has got the final dot in there. It is for Yuka, and it is tactical support regiment. Yun getting united by the uh, mattress, and it is what here by the poor force. Can almost get it actually. Trying to wreck the anti tank gun here, so it can't be used again by the Brits. Chilling fire continues to rain down. Another move up the west here. Commanders pushing back the second. There you go, to getting the commanders. Firing into them. And we got a light gammon bomb off. Double light gammon bombs. He wasn't paying attention there to 222. Goes down. Well improvised there by SWAT. Well improvised. Grabbing territory there. Bit of back and forth again. Ball force by the way is knocked out. And there we go, we got a command tank out as well now for Guruski. He's actually got quite the armored force. 942 are defending, holding the commands alongside the pioneers. I mean again one option he could consider is just, you know, taking all his armor and striking out the invasion, particularly now with the a panther out here from Thunder, and I do think a base is all back to work surprisingly well out for the Germans. Section under fire, point. going for the victory point, we got crumbles here. Plural now, engaging the Panzer gonna deal it. More artillery fire, in this case some uh, suppressive fire from the ball force again. That's what really likes that ability. There we go, Panther strikes out the Cromwells. And we got artillery cover here, around the center of all of uh, Gura Skippy's armor. Quite a lot going on here now, things are getting a lot more intense here as we sort of hit the later stages of the game. Probably being run off here by the Panther. Should have tried to flank it, to be honest, but uh, as it just sort of hung around the front there, then again, perhaps they're trying to bait in, sort of rush ahead, and then sort of use the momentum there to move forward to swing past it, but uh, in this case, it didn't quite work out. An emplacement is being attacked. So now we're moving ahead. Panther here, getting plastered by fire from the Bofors. We got smoke going down there, as what is put into use his vehicle crew repairs to get his crumbles repaired. Good work there. Stoogs, command tank move up to support here. Could perhaps push through. Good traps. They're going to gain the ball force. 75 million guns is hammering away at the ball force. Will the emplacement last? The right here, we got the Austin awesome acting in range of the artillery cover ability. Thunder still feeling quite a bit of manpower. Really should be doing fuel caches. Bunkers or something. Extra for units. There we go, the armor striking in. Still hooking up, and there we go, got another buffers down. Another victory for Deutschland. But all of the artillery just making it difficult for them to maintain the position. Plus, you've got British armor attacking forward. So, Guruski pulls back his armor. He stronger shuts his defense Panzerwagen. Also, got the house there, ready to soon for another bow. We've got the Panther nearby being repaired. Thandan could actually soon go for another Panther. Although, of course, he might be playing for a Tiger. Yukai for the man past what? Less so. He's also lost some of his commandos to the hands. Those dastardly Jerry's. More Panzer gonna do there for Thunder Hunt. How to firing away again. Panther moving up there. We'll just give me up support as well. In fact, looks like a larger assault here. There you go, one crumble down, straight into the Hornet's nest, and just getting absolutely pumped here by Stoogs and the Panther, and there we go, almost got it. That is two crumbles going in a matter of moments there, Swat got too confident, and he suffered the losses, leaving two tanks to burn in the rain. Further to the rain down here, now time to silence that mortar placement. Churchill moving ahead, he's got a Firefly on the way though, a Firefly. The 17 pounder gun mounted there. Triple sections moving up there with the uh, Bren guns, possibly triple or double Brens, not triple. There we go, gun is a lot of trouble. C Churchill absorbing some of the fire. Will Swart try maybe play for some uh, comets? Smokescreen going down here for Goroskipa to carve up the men there. Good work, good work. Western side is again very open. The Germans seem to be getting drawn into all the fighting here. Panther firing away. Osman moving up. 
mortars running away and we got ourselves another buffer up. Double land matches by weight, massive barrage there being unleashed against the Germans, catching pioneers, wiping them, tanked as well, taking damage there from the devastating rocket barrage. Good lord. Look at all those effects. Rain, smoke, dirt, stuff dying. I'm surprised my computer isn't breaking under this. Mortar in a lot of trouble there, so we got the British attacking as well. Austin moving up to try and stall this, of course has to wear what he's got Fiat. And there we go, Austin getting hammered there. We need to pull it back, we got a church moving up to support as well. Quickly getting that Austin up, oh, just barely. Stukes moving up. Uh, I need to get out of there. Oh, use target weak point, the use target weak point! Target's a weak point, Helmut! Ah! I want ah, there we go, he uses it, but a bit too late. And we got a tilly cover going down. Going for the G more armor wing. Oh, there we go, we got a firefly up there. No upgrade to get the tank commander. Large smoke screen going down. More artillery raining down there. Panther and Tiger now flanking in here. Tight Panther's even caught here a bit by the uh, solid cover. Gunner not too good there. Tiger needs to be careful. Got the firefly there. Slowly turning its turret. Getting a good hit there. Tiger down to almost half health already. Careful of the firefly. Flame for onto Panzer Gunner Dealer. And the guys are caught by the artillery cover. There's good news there for them. There we go, Firefly pulling back. You really though should conserve the tank commander for it. Would definitely benefit it. Panther being repaired, Tanks going to need repairs. And so will all of uh, Guru Skippy's armor, plus we'll need another Stug. He's definitely going to need another Stug now. I also think you should consider some other plans of attack there because they're just going to attack head on now and actually have to the advantage of the British in particular with a Firefly in particular if Yuka wants to get another one or swap words to get, I don't know, Comets there you go, another Stug on the way, they need to try flanking more trying to outmaneuver more I mean again, the thing is they've really got you know an excellent path to do so they can attack through here, into there, or the base so I'm a bit surprised that they're sort of allowing themselves to be caught up in the enemy's pace and so just keep attacking around here. Ooh, mistake here by SWAT, he's actually left his uh, land mattresses unattended. There you go, Panther engaging, seeking to knock them out. There we go, one down. He can probably wreck it completely. Gun down. Firefly opening up again. Go land matches down. Good hit there, down to half health already. Really though, should get the tank commander on it. Section flank in, trying to go for the pier for it. No support there. Tiger repair, but can't quite move yet. Guru's give his armor force hanging back, waiting to do something. Panthers move towards the center. And further engagement here collapsing as the commanders just keep attacking there for SWAT. Seems like he's got a larger commander group supporting him. Says they're getting shredded. And more air reconnaissance there. Piat drop there. Will it be used by the Germans? British or will it just be ignored? MP4 through there by the way. Being ignored. More artillery fire there by the way from Cruz Give his artillery. Whereas give by almost a full pop cap, but he could still, you know, go for another stoop or some grenadiers or something. Emplacement under attack. Western side they're being recaptured by the commandos. And it looks like they're gonna make another turn of breaking through here, so they're gonna attempt to maybe attack from here where they aren't expecting it. Also advance the center for forward assembly here. Another land match barrage there from SWAT. Church here, taking his. We've got the Firefly firing away. There we go, gaining veteran to one. Oh, he's also finally got the offer as well there. Good work, good work. He's also filling a lot of resources. He'd go for another Firefly if he wanted to. That wouldn't be a bad idea. And we got there, Hammer for SWAT. So that might indicate some comments. That would not be bad either. Line. Bit more movement here. Harassing, grabbing territory. 
this map is certainly turning into quite a bit of a mess there. Big two points being grabbed, Matt and fourth here. The Germans that are beginning to lose out there compared to the British opponents. Despite, you know, having what essentially amounts to large armour advantage, they're not quite getting it there. Perhaps because they do seem to be wielding it a bit awkwardly. Veteran 22 for the Panther. Increased armour, increased health there. Shit snap. There goes Stu, command tank up to port. Good work. Tiger getting repaired. Firefly moving up, getting a good hit off there. Half rate to Veteran 22, which means increased rate of fire and better interpretation. Which really means it's going to be dangerous. Command tank up now to the Stu. Really falling back there. Perhaps ready for the big jump to expose itself, then knock it out. No sign of a comment there for SWAT, the basically the UK to fight them with a church and a firefly. It seems like they got no anti-tank and just PS otherwise. That's pretty bold there to be honest. But then makes it only strange to hear the Germans being so passive. I mean I think they could have done a lot more damage had they just well, they just been more aggressive really. Going back in the face with the tight. Firefly, Panther not blitzing in, Commando not supporting, Stu's not really either. Firefly's actually gone too close to the Tiger. Way too close, but it is Vetch 2 though, so it's a lot more dangerous now. Command tank moving up there, Austin taking a nasty hit. Stu's not really being able to support, there going Katie again, the ball force, and Katie ignoring the Firefly. Coming on the way there for SWAT now. Almost got the ball force there, almost. Few more hits, few more hits, infantry moving up there. Firefly, they could get Pantherfuss, they got Buffos down, will the jump continue? And we got to look cover down now on the clustered up German armor. Sped too long, they're not trying to push through, not trying to overwhelm the enemy. And now they're getting punished. Another mortar placement down there. Infantry moving in, and there we go, to the cover, raining down the tanks, Piet doing it as well. Infantry being crushed there by the Panther getting gunned down left and right. Chaos and Anarchy reigns. That's the 15 Panther going to give you some chance to now stole the assault there. Same time, another attempt here by the Germans to take the centre has failed. British infantry counterattacks. Till we cover range down, the German infantry pinning them down to the ground. And the Fireflies being paired up again. Another Firefly on the way there for Yukai. Comet done now for SWAT. Command tank needs to pull back, heavily damaged. Snarver there getting plastered. Command tank almost getting knocked out there. We got the fire flight moving ahead once more. Slowly closing towards Veteran C3. Panzer gonna do here. Flying from the battered position of the German position, long gone. Wiping a section, but still we got more troops moving in plus commandos. Panther blitzing it, trying to get that firefly. Not a bad idea, not a bad idea. But there we go, Common moves in and it's too late, it's too late. That might have been beat then without any support then the Panther's now in trouble versus the Comet which is just being in there. He might just lose the Panther and there we go Comet gets the Panther. <coughs> Panther is down kaput. Nine. Further fighting here. Dunhan's going to actually need to replace that Panther as quickly as humanly possible. Guru's giving by way is at full pop cap now. Losing control of the West as well here. They really need to think think of a different approach to attack here because they just keep attacking you. They just losing sight of the rest of the map really. Allowing the allies to dictate the pace despite, you know, having less armor and less anti-tank. <laughs> now they got double fireflies out. That's nasty. In particular, once that thing hits Metron C3, that means it will have higher damage too. 
So as you can see, hammer there, taking some good casualties from the German army. SWAT though, uh, rather low in units there, compared to the rest. Paying for another assault here. Needs to be careful, there we go. Command tank rushing straight to the fireflies. Almost getting knocked out there, Stuke's bombarding, needs to be careful, needs to be careful, 4 6, four, six. Command tank down. If anything, this you'll probably consider attacking somewhere else now. Or well, at least hoping to sort of draw in the fireflies into the gate and sort of more suits them. Target tank hits it, remember to use target weak point. Target's a weak point, Helmut. Do not want them to be largely use their uh, devastating firepower as much as they want to. Tiger already down to half health here, fire flight, veterans if the other one. Closing the veterans to one already. Comet down, comet down, church is everything pushed away. Stu kaput, stu kaput. Panther there taking heavy damage, already down to less than half health. Command tank going after Cap Churchill. And there we go, that armor engagement did not work too well out there for the German army. There we go, veteran to one. Oh, did use target weak point there, I guess. Another Struga on the way for Guru Skip hit. Need to pull back, that's two before it's too late. Pack 40 moving up, lots of pioneers, sections attacking. Pioneers need to be careful, they're doing it while under fire like that. They're going to be easy targets, even with a command tank nearby. There we go, an additional storm because you're just charging forward. Also, straight into the fireflies, laying the fire. But there it goes, some nice hits, they're really decimating the British infantry. Firefly moves up, gains Vetsley 2 as well now. Now they, they are facing two fireflies with an increased rate of fire and increased turret rotation. Yeah, they're still insisting, but they're just operating within the same area, not just you know trying to catch them off guard there somewhere else. Can't help but find that as a bit of a dangerous line of thought. Not the best infantry move there by Yukai. Sections basically wasted there to be honest. Oh, they actually turn the tiger though. Attacking and emplacement. Both was there decimating Panzer gun at the end. We got a land match is there again finding away. Another coming away for SWAT. Yukai though floating out a man car. Come on, man, spend it, spend it. So it's your Thunder Hunt. Spend that manpower. Get some caches up. Something. Target is to pull back for repairs. Two weeks to pull back for repairs. And there we go, Thunderhand getting some Panzer Gunnadia, Yukai getting a lot of sections, good work. Another comet out there for the 11th Armoured. Fun fact about the Firefly, it's actually a poor accuracy beyond a certain range simply due to the fact that the gun was too big for the turret. There you go, Pack 40 on the church, the Panzer joining in as well, Betty 2 there for Pack 40. Panthers are getting absolutely decimated there by the Fireflies. Let's use two, let's use three. All the way down to less than half fell stupid. I'm trying to flank in there, but uh, not quite getting off enough there. And we're not enough to pull either, I think. Remember to use target weak point. Target to Firefly. Oh, shit. it. Down already. That was very quick. Smoke's been down much too late there for Guru's Keep. I think it's basically happening faster than they can predict. So by the time he realizes he's done, you know, he's already it's already too late. Still going away there for good or skippy. Getting absolutely hammered by those fireflies. I mean they're doing so much damage. It's rare though, you see gets anyone gets to use the fireflies like that and they're doing an absolutely gruesome task to the enemy. Damage in the Churchill, trying to get some grenades, but not quite succeeding. Austin moving up in the west. Enemy 42 close getting knocked out here. Tiger moving ahead, Panthers repairs, Pack 40 finding way, they got the Churchill, small victory, needs to creep ahead the Pack 40, that's probably the best choice there, that's the uh, 
Fireflies, if they really want to attack head on, but no, they keep sending in armor. And the tide there's almost down to half health already. That's just two shots. And there you go, another two shots, and the tiger's almost dead. And the firefly that was, you know, Vetching 2 is almost Vetching 2 3. More artillery here, church comet being repaired. German assault there, brutally repulsed. Panzers here getting absolutely slaughtered by sections. The German war machine seems to be losing spirit here. Pioneers desperately trying to get the tanks working again here in the fog. Takes moving up here, might try and get some of those saps, but they are heavy engineers now. Tougher, more nasty. And we got double mattresses up again there, more nasty barracks. Ah, oh, Pioneers getting slaughtered again, covered across the tanks. Brother Scheme's going to need more stools, but again, doesn't have enough fuel because they build enough fuel casual. The manpower is jolly well floating. Cause another solution perhaps to those fireflies when down some of your mortars and then down a massive smoke screen right before attacking, or you know, using the smoke bomb instead of trying to cover your know, unit's retreat, use it offensively. Use the spotting scope for the stoops to spot ahead, find a good line of attack, then smoke it and get out of there. Oh, thunder and drop there. I just hadn't noticed that. I had not noticed that, but at that point it's. Well, pretty much GG. Anyways, so yeah, there you have it. I mean, you know, with one player dropping in, there's not really much left of the fight. Hadn't actually noticed that because, you know, it's still an exciting fight there going on, but ultimately the Germans do end up fully losing, and of course, getting one player replaced by an AI tends to you know, rather solidify that. So, I mean, while it could go on, promise it just all could skip and of course, you know, it's hard here to say anything bad further when you know he's having to deal with an AI teammate, but you know. Initially, the Germans were doing quite well, actually. What went wrong for them? I mean, essentially, what they managed to do was they built up a large arm advantage Panthers, Tigers, Stugs, Command Tanks, Ostwind. And what did they then proceed to do? Just keep attacking the same small point, allowing the enemy to quickly figure out oh, what to do and then deal with it. They relied less and less on actual maneuver, which they initially done quite strongly with, and, you know, rather gave up the rest of the map. And more importantly, they just, you know, became predictable. Being predictable is generally one of the last things you want to be, particularly when you're attacking. I mean, that generally tends to mean you know, you're easily much more dealt with. So that's definitely one of the mistakes. They also lack of tiger weak from Fukuro Skippy, rather hurt there as well, to be honest. Other things they, sh they should have considered, or just yeah, attacking here. I mean, really, there's just so much opportunity to attack out through here and into there again, all straight to the bases. They could have done a lot of damage to the British players that way, but instead they just consider these, you know, silly head-on assaults and they generally also scatter out their armor in sort of a strange way so they just be, you know, easily dealt with one by one, so there were a lot of prompts there for the Germans. I'm not sure if you'd call it overconfident or what, but um, there were definitely some issues there, I think, getting the armor up to the most. Also, a bit too much flooding of manpower on all sides, so, but that's, you know, all sides there. British players, you know, bolted sections, upgrades, good work there. Decent use of doctrines, decent use of attacking, fireflies was a nice use there, certainly. Go down with some more mines, emplacement usage could have been better at spots there. Sometimes they place a bit, you know, much on their own. And I think an early armored car could perhaps have benefited them a bit as well there. But uh, there you go, I hope you enjoyed this match, I hope you learned something from it, I hope it gives you different matches. If it did, why not subscribe to your friends, share it with everyone, if not, send a new player, apply some feedback in the comment section. If this is Imperial Dancing, cheers, thank you for watching, and hope to see you all another time. Bye.